My name is Elizabeth, and I have a story to tell you. Not like a fairy tale story with a princess and a castle, a real story about me, an ordinary little girl, and my imaginary friend, Sparkle. The funny thing about Sparkle is that I'm the only one who can see her. Well, I thought I was the only one. My imaginary friend first found me when I started kindergarten. I had moved to a new house and a new school in a new town. It seemed like everything was new. I might have felt just a little lonely. Then one day, Sparkle found me and I wasn't lonely anymore. Now Sparkle comes to school with me every day. She keeps me company at lunch. We play together at recess. And even walk to the bus together. When I told my grandma about my new friend, she said, that's nice, sweetie. She's lovely. I don't think she can see Sparkle. She pretends to, but when she tries to talk to her, she talks to my shoes. <sighs> Grandmas. My friends at school couldn't see Sparkle either. I asked my teacher about it to see if she knew why. I love my teacher because she really listens. I can tell because when I talk to her, she sits very still. I'm like the only thing in the world she is thinking about right then. I think I'll stay in her class forever. When I told my teacher about my imaginary friend Sparkle, she told me something amazing. She already knew, and she can see Sparkle. She explained that most people think seeing is believing, but she thinks believing is seeing. I had to think about that for a little bit. Then she told me that Sparkle isn't the only imaginary friend in our school. She says there are other kids who sometimes feel a little lonely like me. And their imaginary friends keep them company just like Sparkle keeps me company. Then we all used our imagination and had a lot of fun with Sparkle. My teacher explained that a lot of times as people get older, they become too busy to spend time with their imaginary friend. They forgot to believe in them. My teacher then told me that not all grown-ups have forgotten their imaginary friend. Some still believe, and they have an imaginary friend that keeps them company and helps to cheer them up when they're down. Then something amazing happened. I started to see other people's imaginary friends too. And I realized that I wasn't alone. It's like my favorite teacher says, as long as you have your imagination, you'll never be alone. <laughs>